everyone. Welcome to the AAMG YouTube channel. Do you or someone you know have suffered from a heart attack? Are your levels of cholesterol high? If you answered yes to any of these questions, this video is for you. Today we will be discussing heart attacks and cholesterol. For tips on preventing heart attacks and lowering your levels of cholesterol, keep on watching. Every 40 seconds, someone in the United States has a heart attack, and every year about 805,000 Americans have a heart attack. A heart attack occurs when the blood flow to the heart is blocked due to a blood clot. Without oxygen, the section of the heart muscle that needs the oxygen begins to die. More than 1 million people in the U.S. suffer from a heart attack and about half of them will die. After those deaths begin one hour after the start of symptoms and before reaching the hospital. Most heart attacks involve discomfort in the center or left side of the chest. The discomfort may feel like pressure, squeezing, or pain. Other symptoms of a heart attack may include feeling weak, lightheaded, or faint. You may also break out into a cold sweat, pain or discomfort in the jaw, neck, or back, pain or discomfort in one or both arms or shoulders. This discomfort may be a sign that you are about to get a heart attack and shortness of breath. This often comes along with chest discomfort, but the shortness of breath can also happen before. So what are the risk factors for a heart attack? About half of all Americans have at least one of the three key risk factors for heart attacks. These include high blood pressure, high blood cholesterol, and smoking. Some risk factors cannot be controlled, such as your age or family history, but you can take steps to lower your risk by changing the factors you can't control. High blood pressure and high blood cholesterol go hand in hand. High blood pressure happens when the force of your blood pushing against the walls of your blood vessels is constantly too high. Mildly increased cholesterol levels could influence blood pressure as it can mess up how blood vessels contract and release, which may also affect the pressure needed to push blood through them. Cholesterol greatly influences the blood pressure of your body. Now that we know how cholesterol influences your blood pressure, what exactly is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a waxy substance found in your blood. Your body needs cholesterol to build healthy cells, but high levels of it can increase your risk for heart disease. As that waxy substance continues to grow, it can accumulate in your blood vessels, making it difficult for blood to pass. With high cholesterol, you can develop fatty deposits in your blood vessels. Eventually, these deposits grow so big that they can suddenly break and form a blood clot that causes heart attacks and strokes. Other complications may include chest pain. If the arteries that supply your heart with blood are affected, you might have chest pain and other symptoms of coronary artery disease. Heart attack. If plague tears or ruptures, a blood clot can form at the plague rupture site. This can block the flow of blood through your arteries. If blood flow to part of your heart stops, you'll have a heart attack. Stroke Similar to a heart attack, a stroke occurs when blood clots blocks blood flow to part of your brain. So what are the risk factors of cholesterol? First we have poor diet. Eating saturated fat found in animal products and trans fat found in some cookies, crackers, and microwave popcorn can increase your levels of cholesterol. Foods that are high in cholesterol, such as red meats and full fat dairy products, will also increase it. Obesity. Having a body mass index of 30 or greater puts you at risk for high cholesterol. Smoking. Cigarette smoking damages the walls of your blood vessels, making them more prone to accumulate fatty deposits. Smoking might also lower your levels of good cholesterol, and this good cholesterol is what removes the bad cholesterol from your arteries. Age Because your body's chemistry changes as you age, your risk of high cholesterol climbs. For instance, as you age, your liver becomes less able to remove bad cholesterol. Diabetes 
Add that sugar contributes to higher levels of dangerous cholesterol called very low density lipoprotein and lower levels of good cholesterol. High blood sugar may also damage the lining of your arteries. Now that you know the risk factors, you may be wondering, how can I prevent heart attacks by managing cholesterol? High cholesterol can be inherited, but it's also the result of unhealthy lifestyle choices, which can be preventable and treatable. The same heart-healthy lifestyle changes that can lower your cholesterol can prevent you from having high cholesterol in the first place. To help prevent high cholesterol, you can have a good diet. We recommend to eat low salted diets that emphasizes in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It is also very important to limit the number of animal fats and use good fats in moderation. Maintain a good weight. Managing a good diet and exercising can help you lose extra pounds and maintain a healthy weight. Quit smoking. Smoking affects every part of your body and it plays a huge role in increased cholesterol. Exercise. We recommend to exercise on most days of the week for at least 30 minutes. Reduce alcohol consumption. Drink alcohol in moderation, if at all. Manage stress. High cortisol levels increase glucose in your body, which can also affect cholesterol levels. If you or someone you know is struggling with cholesterol, I hope these tips help you reduce and prevent it. Healthy cholesterol levels keep the heart healthy, which lowers the risk of developing heart disease and heart attacks. If you don't have cholesterol, these preventable strategies can help you and your family stay healthy. For a quick overview of what was covered, here is a pamphlet that may be useful. You need a quick and easy way to explain to others what a heart attack and what to do if someone is suffering for it. This pamphlet can help. If you like this video, please check out our other videos. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also make sure to hit the bell notification button to get notified every time we post a new video. Follow AAMG on our social media platforms in the description and to stay up to date on the latest health news, free health workshops, and community events. Thank you so much for watching.